Hi, my name is John Wilson. I'm with Rag to Riches Franchise, LLC. You're in another episode of Why This Franchise, and I'm talking to Austin. Austin, how are you? Hello, John. I am very well. I'm glad to talk a little bit about this residential cleaning company that's in our neighborly family of brands. It's called Molly Maid. Molly Maid is the largest residential cleaning company out there. We have more than 500 locations in the U.S. And there's a lot of reasons why your clients might like this business model. But the thing that I really love about it is recurring revenue. You know, what, what our FDD shows, that franchise disclosure document, it shows that on average in our customer base, about 89% of the customers are on a recurring revenue stream with us, which for Molly Made, that's on average once every 14 days, we're going to go and serve them. So we know that Molly Made is a really excellent vehicle if you're looking for an investment that would allow you to project your cash flows in the future. This is a really nice diversification play for people. And the lifestyle is great. Monday through Friday, eight to five, you're never going to get an emergency call at Saturday at 2 a.m. saying, hey, I had a bad dream. I need somebody to come and clean my baseboards. Right. Doesn't happen with this business. It's very, very standard. Um, and I wouldn't say that it's easy, but it is a very simple business. Okay. So can you tell me when did uh, Molly Maid uh, franchise, when they start franchising? Molly Maid started franchising in 1984. So once again, we've been doing this thing for a long time. We have cleaned literally hundreds of thousands, I would imagine at this point, uh, homes and businesses of our customers. The primary customer of ours is usually a homeowner, but there's nothing that precludes you from doing commercial work. Like think about you know, the AT&T store. People are going in there, they're licking tablets and breathing on phones. The people who work at AT&T, they're not trained to sanitize and sterilize that properly. So rather than bringing in a maid service that's uninsured and not bonded, they would much rather work with another national brand and Molly Maid is one of those. That makes sense to me. So what is the year to year growth with Molly Maid? Molly Maid has been growing really steadily since 1984. Um, we in 2022 uh, will have added about 10 units this year. So that's probably um, what I would say like eight to 10 units is about what we're growing. But what we see, John, is that with a mature concept like Molly made, we're not simply looking for people with a pulse and a paycheck. We are only interested in bringing people into the family who pass through our mutual evaluation process that we have here for all our brands at Neighborly. And we are very judicious about bringing people into the family because what we have is working, right? We don't necessarily want to just bring someone in because they got a lot of money or bring someone in, hey, I love cleaning. Well, that's great. It doesn't mean that you are the type of franchise owner that we would be looking for. Right. I was just about to ask you about the costs associated with owning this brand. So we estimate that on the low end to purchase your territory and to operate the business for the first three months, that that would cost about $127,000. On the high end, we estimate that it would cost about $184,000. So I think we can safely say on average, John, this business is about one hundred fifty k for you to purchase your territory and to run that business for the first three months. The fees that you're gonna to pay to us are going to be your franchise fee and the territory fee. And that territory fee is gonna be based on the number of targeted households that you have in your territory. So we know that not every single person is going to be a Molly made customer, that's okay. Our customers in general are rich people, old people and people with kids. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a territory that has at minimum 45,000 of these targeted households. These are census data points for households over 100K income, households with residents over age 65, and households with children. So I'm going to build a territory for you with at minimum 45,000 and at maximum 65,000 of those targeted households. And that dollar for dollar is what's going to be your territory fee. Now, I have to, this is a question that just came to me, and, and I'm sorry if I throw you off guard here. So when I'm talking to people about purchasing franchises, and when you give them a franchise fee, and then you give the total fee across the board, isn't some of that fee financed? Not, the, not, not that you're financing it, but you pay the 14.9, right, that I see, but then the other money is not paid up front, it's paid through time. So the, the territory fee and the franchise fee, those are going to be needed to pay up front, but- 
we only require that you pay at minimum 30% of that. So let's say that your initial franchise fee, that's 14.9, that's not going to change. And your franchise fee is about, you know, let's say it's $44,100. That means you owe $60,000 to Neighborly for your initial fees. Well, 30% of that is going to be about $20,000. So that's what we're going to require for you to put down to us so that we can allow you to start doing training and going through these other processes that you need. And if you're getting a loan through the SBA or maybe you're rolling over your 401k, uh, maybe you got the HELOC, a home equity line of credit. Well, we will only require you put down that minimum to us so that you can start building your business and doing the training. And then when your funding hits, that's when you would pay the remainder of those fees to neighborly. Yeah, thank you for clarifying that. I've always wanted that that question answered, and that we appreciate it. So, if you have any questions about Molly Maid, please contact me. And if you'd like to talk to Austin, you may contact him as well. Just let him know that you saw this video, and um, we appreciate it because Molly Maid is the way to go. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you so much, John. Take care.